listen. W streamers are all like TikTok Andes. Okay, so here's what I'm going to say. When you're trying to be entertaining and we're trying to make funny content, you're always going to run into a lot of hurdles, okay? You're always going to want to push boundaries. Prank YouTubers are pushing boundaries with what is known as the law. That's literally like 90% of what prank tube is, is just like, or prank YouTubers are, is just like, what can I get away with? Like, what kind of harassment can I do while still, you know, not going to jail. Exactly. It depends on who you're pranking. depends on how you're pranking, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm not trying to be an old man. Some of that is actually pretty funny. Some of that's not. Who cares? It's not for me. The problem is when you're like, you know, doing like hacky something. shit. Thank you for filtering. And there's nothing, on, in like my you. opinion, that is... There's nothing more hacky than just like relegating to old memes and, and trying to fucking do you know, racism pranks and shit like that. You know what I mean? And another one that is uh, really commonplace is just like dunking on a, a female content creator or being over the top horny with a female content creator to a degree where it's like goofy as fuck, where you just look goofy and creepy and you got to chill. You know what I mean? So from what I understand, uh, Gideon, who may or may not understand like the vibes of Twitch, or maybe he understands it really well and just wanted to farm some fucking content for himself by getting banned immediately after being partnered, who decided last night, I think, to go, and I'm going to look at LSF for this, sorry, because they have all the timeline and shit. He basically sent his viewers to spam Pokemane while flaming her during his first stream after being verified. After that, Pokemane ended his stream because GDM Premium viewers were harassing her viewers in whispers. This is after Gideon joked about his stream about his viewers harassing her more if he gets banned. Aiden then turned around. Aiden Ross came in, the W streamer himself, the number one content farmer, uh, came in. He talks to him about the situation, and then he he made, like, really fucking weird... He, he said, like, weirdo shit. And then he got banned, of course. So then Bruce dropped him off, defended Pokemane, apparently. Let's see. Damn, that was, Why? that was fucking fast. That was fast as fuck. Probably because they was fucking harassing Pokemane. <laughs> what the fuck? They should have not fucking harassed her. Told you, don't harass that Moroccan queen. I wanted to back out of that, but I didn't... Niggas kept harassing Pokemon, bro. Leave her alone. Oh fuck. Yeah, you know what? You know what he just dropped off, dude? Facts. That's what he just did. Bruce drop him off. Dropped off just a bag full of facts. So then um Pokemon protected her account. Uh, but oh, the moralizing element is like, this is something that I see all the time with people that fucking come after me as well. I think he does understand Twitch. He's been watching for a few years. Okay. Well, that makes more sense. And then he's just straight up fucking drama farming, clout farming, uh, and, and trying to drive, uh, negative engagements. But with Pokimane, because of like age old antiquated, uh, attitudes that people have that, Hope you're uh, a good predate the show. invention of the internet. It's super easy to just like go after a big female content creator and just be like, she fucking sucks. She's a woman. And by the way, Pokey, who is a very nice person, as all of you fucking in the stream know, uh, has obviously at a certain point, at a certain time when she was younger, uh, said some shit. Okay. Like way, 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 way back in the day. So what these dudes now are doing are using the old N word clip of Pokemon from like, 10 fucking years Nine ago to farm minute, as many incels as possible and the dude has like turned his account into basically the exact same thing that leafy is here did and turned it into like literally the fucking anti pogemain hub i'm sorry but that is like dude come on bro you like you're funny you're you're actually funny what the fuck are you doing like you're not like some chinless pasty school shooter like fucking leafy is here the fuck is wrong with you? Thank if you have you a like dick and you're a sub to her, she's not gonna fuck you. Is the most leafy era insult bullshit. This is, is so obvious what he's doing. It's like, first of all, yeah, of course she's not gonna fuck you. It, it, like, it's so stupid. But also, why are you so fucking bent? You're really gonna rehash like 2015 Gamergate memes? Like, come on, dude. There is no like trying to justify why you're behaving this way by being like. You know, uh, a Pokemon used uh, the soft A N word uh, fucking ten years ago. So now I'm gonna be misogynist. 
uh, a misogynist towards her now. It, it's not exactly like who she is now. You know what I mean? I saw this one clip when he was talking to Aiden Ross. So I'm going to show this. He's on this uh, majority report. He's right. on this uh, uh, video. So, you know, but he's not the main focus of the video. So I'm just going to show this real quick. Chat. Uh, I said, uh, w plus ratio. That's not really harassing. I mean, like, can I tell you why that's not like harassing though? Sussy subscribe to this. I mean, you're sending people to go in her chat and type things, but like, it's it's Bro, different chill, than like saying like, YouTuber, like, not a big deal. Boom. You're um, I already saw you say I'm gonna I'm gonna uh trigger, time to trigger Hassan Papela earlier, so it's not working. Um, you're, you're ugly. Oh, or whatever. The like, old, it was a soft like, face, so it's okay. No, I never said that. It was it is completely inappropriate. What I was simply stating is that people have the capacity to change, and if you think that like. Pokimane is the type of person that still fucking is like dropping N bombs, soft A, uh, or not. You're a delusional person. Like, that's insane. I did not say that at all. It's your friend, so she's changed copium. Yeah, exactly. No, that's what it is. That's what I'm doing. I'm I'm running defense for my friends, and this is not this is not uh something that I have I have been a firm believer. No, no one has the capacity to change. Yeah. Again, remember what I said? Everyone turns into a blue-haired SJW all the fucking time when it is someone that they just simply do not like. This is what I mean. This attitude that, like, people don't have the capacity to change is a fucking psychotic one. It's been something that I've talked about a million times over. Uh, it, it's at the heart of what I do. It, it's at the heart of my commentary. Old shit that people have done, especially, like, fucking from 10 years ago when they were, like, 17, uh, is is... Something that you can use if that person is still like that, okay? Then it's fair game. It shows a, a process in which... A, it's, it shows a process of radicalization. But anything outside of that, if, if someone is like, yeah, that was really fucked up. Uh, it's incredibly embarrassing. I can't believe I said that. And obviously, I do not say that ever uh, now. Then has wood, has wood, you has trying to fucking bring that back is just simply in a very narcissistic, selfish, idiotic, uh, and and uh, foolish way to win brownie points in a fucking conversation. It's very stupid. Uh, she she said the n word years ago. He had his friend Ninja, whom he was scheduled to play with today, said the n word multiple times in the past too. So what's good, Jadian? Yeah, that's the whole point. Is like he doesn't give a fuck about that at all. He was just trying. There's two things I want to mention here, though. Okay, one, you don't fight like. Even if someone was racist, you're not like fighting racism with misogyny, unless you're making a point about like bigotry impacts uh, uh, everyone in a different way. Everyone is like marginalized in a different way. You can, Yuck. you know, it's just still hurtful, harmful, yada, yada. So that's one. <laughs> like someone can't turn around and be like, I'm going to be racist towards Gideon to, you know, uh, to fight back against misogyny. That would be completely unacceptable. And uh, anyone that does that should get banned, right? So there's that element. And two, stop trying to fucking use, like, stop trying to find justifications for your bad behavior. Just say you're a dickhead, okay? Say you're like a bad person. Say you want to make fucking content and you want to farm clout. Anyway, but this was just like, like creepy. This is just goofy. Like and saying creepy. like, you know, Here. The, the W, the W thing, like W ratio, like that is considered a negative raid. And it's completely unacceptable. If he did that to me, or if he did that to Aiden, that's one thing. Like, they're friends, they're boys. You know what I mean? That's un that's not unacceptable. The context is important here. If you're doing that to another content creator that you're una uh, unaware of. Anyway, let's keep going. Really fucked up. And, and like, I, I can, I can, I, I'm worried that he's going to, like, turn this into, like, as a meme, he's going to turn this into, like, some fucking race shit. But no, this is not a race shit. It's bigger than black and white. For the record, that's not a race thing. You guys don't... I, I've, I've seen enough of his content to know that that's not a race thing. He makes this meme all the fucking time. Anyway. But what I'm saying is this. It's like... It depends what you said, told your chat to say. But I ain't gonna lie. The only part I see that was like, oh my God, I have my mouth open was when I have my mouth open. Tell me I was lying. Is she not getting dicked down by another man? Tell me I'm lying. Yes, but I don't think she talks about that on stream.
like that is so fucking that's weirdo behavior dude you sound like you fucking frequent like incel forums dude that is so that's so weird dude what it is not your business Swag. what the fuck how do you not see that that's just like gross dude i mean straight up that's it like you sound obsessive dude please porn makes memes for zendaya but he's not doing shit like this yes obviously like that's the difference between someone who's not behaving in a corny goofy way or if he's behaving in a corny goofy way he is the fucking joke okay when corn fucking makes zendaya jokes or when i even make jokes like that i'm making fun of myself for being a fucking simp okay i'm not like aggressively saying like zendaya's getting dicked down with that like that would be fucking insane and everyone would understandably look to someone like myself and go yeah, you're being fucking weird. <laughs> Stop being fucking weird. Remember what you told Aiden? Don't give it to doing lazy, harmful content for cloud. The money's not worth it. I think Aiden Ross is like, I mean, he's still doing like fucking Gamba streams and shit. Uh, and, and you know, that's still very damaging regardless. But is, isn't Pokey African or was that a joke? Yeah, I mean, she is Moroccan, but like she's white passing like I am. So, you know, or there's incredibly sad, white people like lebanese people that people. are like hella white they can't say the n-word either okay she's mena that like she's north african so come on guys don't don't do this thing where you're like oh pokey should be able to say the n-word like come on when you simp too far i think people are way too comfortable stalking content creators public figures does not mean open access to say creepy ass shit yeah